Body filler and hardener must be mixed properly to prevent application issues and defects. Today we'll demonstrate how to properly mix body filler and hardener by hand and we'll look at a system that mixes the two together inside a nozzle like this one. Before the body filler and hardener can be mixed, the hardener must first be kneaded to make sure it is mixed properly. To mix filler, a non-porous surface such as a mixing board designed specifically for mixing body filler should be used. Do not use cardboard. After applying body filler to the mixing board, the hardener is added. Be sure to follow the product maker's recommendations for the correct amount of hardener. To mix the hardener and the body filler, fold the filler over itself. Do not stir the body filler and hardener together. Doing so can create air pockets that cause pinholes. Notice the line running through the middle of the filler. This is an area that has not been properly mixed. We'll continue mixing the filler and hardener until a uniform color is achieved and there is no evidence of unmixed body filler or hardener. This body filler is now ready for application. Now let's take a look at this system which mixes the body filler and hardener as it's dispensed. To prepare the system, the cartridge and mixing nozzle are attached to the gun. An air supply is connected to the gun at the recommended air pressure. A small amount is first dispensed until uniform color is seen. The filler is now mixed properly and ready to be applied. When dispensing, be sure to keep the nozzle buried in the filler to prevent air pockets. When using either mixing method, it's important to work quickly as the filler will begin to catalyze as soon as the hardener is introduced.